Hello, Mr. Tsubaki. So we're solving option four for the trigonometry blog. I'm just gonna go over the question and explain what I did in my thinking process. So <clears throat> explain and demonstrate what trigonometry law was chosen to solve part C2. Part C2 is what is the size of angle ACB on this diagram right here? And the first thing we can already uh, take it off from the question is, uh, since we're given angle ACB, we know that the angle is going to open at um, the middle letter and it's going to extend to A and B. So we know the angle is going to be uh, angle C, which is this angle right here. We don't know. And so as we already as already know, like this is not a right triangle. This is, uh, this is not a right triangle. And there is uh, two possible laws, trigonometry laws, that can be applied to a not right triangle, to a triangle that is not a right triangle, which is the sine rule and the cosine rule. The sine rule, it, uh, in order to apply the cosine rule, we, the, the sine rule, sorry, we need an opposite side or an opposite angle, like an opposite angle of an opposite side. And so if we take a look right here, actually I'm just gonna show the other one. And the cosine rule too, we need, uh, we don't need that, uh, actually to solve the cosine rule, we don't need an opposite side and angle. And um, we just need um, two sides and uh, um, an angle of one of the sides. But basically, as we as already mentioned, in order to apply the sine rule, we, we must have a, a, at least one pair of opposite side and angle. And if we take a look at the diagram that is given to us, we have angle A and side A, which is an opposite side of an angle. And so we know we can apply the sine rule, and, and that's what I chose to do. So we're just going to author it a little bit because uh, it makes it easier to, like, whatever we want to find, if we put it on the top, if you, like, change it. Uh, the side for the angle, like if we put the angle on the top, it's going to be easier to solve. So I just changed the equation for sine of C over C, of a side, a side C, uh, equals sine of A over side A. Uh, we're going to have, we have sine of C, which is what we're going to find, equals to sine of 110. Uh, and sine of C is going to be divided by 600, which is side C. And sine of 110, which is sine of angle A, it's going to be divided by side A, which is uh, 1104. We cross multiply both of them we're gonna get 563 um, 563.81 which is here which is 600 times sine of uh, 110 which is gonna give us the first value uh, and the other side is gonna be 1104 times sine of C we're gonna divide both sides by 1104 to cancel the number and if we divide 563.81 by 11.04, we're going to get 0 0.5107 uh, or 0 0.511, <clears throat> which is equal to sine of C. And in order to find sine of C, we're going to take the inverse sine of the inverse sine of the value that we found. So it's going to be inverse sine of 0 0.511, and the answer is going to be 30.7. If I'm going to show this in calculator to make sure. So in order to still get the inverse sine, we're going to go second, and then we're going to go sine. We're going to give us the inverse sine, and then we just put the value that was uh, given to us that we we got. And the answer is uh, the size of angle ACB is 30.7 degrees.